This video is showing you how to use the multi-timer stopwatch. First you have to move it to the stopwatch time by pressing the mode button at the bottom. You'll notice at the top that the chrono number 498. This means that the stopwatch can remember another 498 times. If that number is zero at the top, you need to clear the watch immediately otherwise it will not recall any more numbers. That means there is no more memory left in the watch. Okay, we have memory. So let's start. So the race starts and we immediately press the start button. You'll notice that the lap split and then the normal time what's happening at the bottom. As the first athlete crosses the line, you press the button on the top left and their time is recorded noting that it's the split time at the bottom that we want to record on the sheet of paper at the finish of the race. So the second athlete finishes and we press the button and they have the time of 28.1, third 31.7 and fourth at 34.14. Now just stop the watch at the end of the race. Now in order to recall the times so that you can tell the um, age marshal, you press the recall button at the top and you read the split time at the bottom. So first place ran 14.80, second ran 28.1, third ran 31.7 and fourth ran 34.14 seconds. Now You'll notice that once I reset, that I have 489 at the top, no longer 498. So I need to return the watch back, or I can, I can continue to race, even though it says 489. But it's a good thing to clear it every once in a while. So to clear that, I'll put recall again. And then I'll hold the top left button. Keep holding it down until you see clear edit appear. That means it's all clear. If I go back, you'll notice that I have 491. So it's cleared what was in its memory. And that's how you use the watch.